Would I buy Test Drive Unlimited again? Well, this video is going to be a full and honest review. We're going to cover graphics, races, car upgrades, handling, missions, the wheel versus pad, AI races, console and PC, the map itself, and so much more because I've been on such a massive journey with this game. I pre-ordered the game for $100. Now, would I do it again? So let's get into it. So we're going to start with graphics here. This is a big point on my journey and also the games. So on the right hand side, we've got the game on PC. On the left hand side, we've got it on PS5. Now, obviously, the graphics are not as good on PS5 as PC, although in motion here, in daytime, it actually doesn't look too bad, in my opinion. But you can see the frame rate is not 60 frames a second. You have a performance mode or you have a graphical mode and neither of which gets near PC. Well, it can run at a 4090 because also on the right hand side, we're running that on an RTX 4090. So the game is just generally not the best optimized. And in my position, having a gaming PC and a PS5, I, I can tell you now, I would not buy this game again on PS5, or at least I wouldn't buy it $100. I might buy it at, I don't know, 20, 30, but there is, as you can see here, a golf with the PC version. I do have a review copy of the game on PC. And just to sort of tie up this uh, comparison here before we go into all of the other stuff in the game, like everything else, it's mainly the reflections, I think, on the PS5 version that when I look at it closely, seem to struggle. You can look at the bonnet compared to the PC version, also, we're in a chase camera. Yes, slightly different paints, but the paints in there, the PS5 version never feel like as reflective as they should do. And then there's a frame rate issue as well. By the way, I've, I'm struggling to run this game at 60 frames a second on a PC, but I'm kind of getting over it. And hopefully over time, they're going to optimize it. So let's get into the meat of the game. We're going to talk about races now. Later on, we're going to get into all the other features like the map and fast travel. The racing in the game, for me, the core cool part of it is a lot of fun. I really like the consequence of hitting um, the objects. They're quite satisfying in a way to go through the fact that they're deformable, you can see here. And that's a big change from the original Test Drive Unlimited where you would hit like a flower pot and your whole car would come to a stop. Now there is a consequence that we'll get onto later, but the actual racing, I think is dictated a lot by the map itself, which is cool because it gives a, the, the racing a lot of character. You start in the densely populated area of Hong Kong and it's really tight twisty racing. I never felt like I needed more cars. Obviously, the Crew Motorfest has a lot more cars in the race, but, you know, I actually felt like in those twisty ones, eight cars were enough, and then you get onto the wider road. I do want to make a little comparison to the Crew Motorfest, though. The celebration scenes in Test Drive Limited are just, like, so bad compared to Crew Motorfest. You can see here, just on the left-hand side, you feel more like a Don, more like a G, and you don't necessarily in uh, Test Drive Unlimited it can also be a bit awkward for the race as well. It's like very sterile and that's even if you get into the race. Anyway, lobby issues, there was so much of it at launch. Let's get into customization and then I'll actually show you how this impacts the handling of the cars. I'm pretty disappointed by the visual customization, but I'm not that disappointed by the performance customization. There's obviously many different ways of cutting this. I remember the crew one was like really simplistic. This is slightly more realistic, but it's again done in a way that's meant to be accessible. It's not like a proper tuning game it's not like Gran Turismo you kind of get guiding like do I want more power do I want more brakes want more handling for lack of a better word so I kind of like that and you can see here the visual customizations as well again I think lacking on visual customization compared to the crew motor fest Forza Horizon 5 yes you can do your trim and that's cool because you're going to be spending a lot of time in first person albeit there's a big issue you need to sort out but I feel like you can't really stamp your personality on the car it's more like you're buying a new car. And I've never bought a new car in my life. I've only ever bought second-hand cars. So that's maybe something I don't fully understand. So how does it affect handling? I'm going to show you a mission here. And I'm going to show you me upgrading the car. Or what happens when I upgrade the car. And you can see here in the rain. I'm actually struggling to get the power of the car down. In this uh, environmental condition. Which is really cool. You're going to see the back end sliding around a lot. I absolutely love this handling. I love teasing the back end out. I love using it to push around corners in, you know, in a real drive car like this Mustang. It's really satisfying and you can kind of feel the weight and consequence of the cars and you have to control it and there's a nice bit of counter here. There's no nitrous to get you out of it. It's not like the Crew Motor Fest or games like that where you get sort of this free nitrous. It's a little bit more grounded. Absolutely love it and you can understand how your racing relative, your car performance relative to other cars and look here i go through these look how much it slows me down that's what exactly what i meant when i said on the one hand it's fun on the other hand it slows you down going through stuff i like that balance 
This is, by the way, when I chose my uh, clan. I didn't like either of them. First person I met here was Mr. Uh, Udsex, who uh, is a fellow West Ham fan. So very nice there, driving a Jaguar RQ Pay. That's the first person I met. That was my introduction to the game. And uh, this is a mission you do, by the way, when you want to choose, when you, when you want to get into the clan. I had to beat this guy in his uh, Mini Cooper. I'm going to play some ultra wide here for a little bit. Just show you sort of the field of view you get in ultra wide. Again, you, you can't do this on console, but you can on PC. And by this stage, I tuned the car a little bit and I was just able to get the power down a bit nicer. You can see it's a bit more focused. And I'm going to show you here sort of like how the racing goes down because it's it's in, it's like city racing. You can see here I hit this barrier. I'm way out in the lead. I've sort of switched off a little bit. He zooms past me. If you look, you see we're lap two out of two. We're very near the end of the race. I was like, I really don't want to do that again. And I'm actually driving like properly on it here to try and just finish the race ahead. And that's the sort of nature you get. You see there's actual traffic here on this road as well. But that's what you, you get with the sort of dynamism of the racing. I quite like it. Some races are, are no traffic, like the time trials, time attacks. Some races have lots of traffic and it gives you that sort of midtown madness character, which I love. Now I'm a fully paid up member of the Sharks, which I don't care about. What I do care about though is wheels. And I had big issues with wheel support. Remember, I played this game demo, various betas, console PC. Never really got my Moser equipment working with it. I think that's more of a test driver limited thing than a Moser thing. But on my Thrustmaster, generally really 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 satisfying really you know really nice to play on thrustmaster I had a few disconnects early on but when i plugged all my equipment back into the pc directly it just worked one big negative i told you i was going to tell you about this in first person is the wheel rotation it's not full wheel rotation it's really off putting the ai as well a little bit basic you can see there that they want to go on the driving line by the way let me in the comments if you bought this game thinking about buying it if hopefully you found this video helpful if you are please 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 hit that subscribe button for me i really appreciate it just a guy doing these videos but you can see in this race we're going to destroy the ai they're quite basic but you do get to a point where you need to upgrade your car and then you're thinking do i want to spend it on upgrades of this car do i want to save it for a new car now i was a little bit disappointed by the amount of cars in the game i've got to be honest with you there's not a lot of dealerships you can see this is me quite early in the game when this was just recorded but there's not that many more that appear. Look at the map as well. It's like actually a 3D map. It's Parallax, which is quite cool. This is where you, there's a lot of uh, off-road missions you unlock as you get further into the game. Now, this is a super cool feature. The stats here, you know, showing how much money you've earned, how much you spent, I think is really cool. I love having these stats. The game is online only or always online. Like it doesn't work when the servers are down. Like you won't get into races. You won't get into the game. There has to be some benefit. And this is the benefit side of it. But the crew motor first and the crew two are going to have an offline mode and i think this is going to need to be a big strength of, the, of test driver limited they're going to need to actually do a lot of live service because at the moment my big criticism would be i'm kind of like hoping for a little bit more i want a little bit more in the game i want more things to do i want more variety i want more cars i want more events you know i want pedestrians i want more traffic it's just a little bit of more like i feel like there's a really good solid base of the game with the handling and the map itself but i just want more added to it and maybe this is something they're keeping in their back pocket so hopefully you've enjoyed this video yes i did waste my money on ps5 but i'm happy with the version on pc which i did get a review code for let me know your thoughts and i'll see you next time